Ladies and gentlemen, our next, next contest of the evening will be a final title eliminator with the winner going through to challenge for the Queensbury Boxing League Regional Heavyweight Championship here in Epsom on April 25th. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome the first fighter into the arena. Please welcome Matt Cross. And now we welcome his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a current Queensbury Boxing League novice heavyweight champion. Please welcome Dave No Stopping Choppy. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is brought to you in association with RDX Sports, the official fight clubs of Queensbury Boxing League, PJ Brown Construction, and our headline sponsors, Ricer High Performance Screws. Introducing them first, your fighter standing in the blue corner. Tonight, representing Ring Boxing Gym in London. Please show your appreciation for Matt. And introducing your second fighter, standing across the ring in the red corner tonight, representing the White Dogs Boxing Gym in Red Hill. Please make some noise for Dave No Stopping Choppy. This heavyweight title eliminated be fought over four too many rounds. And your Queensbury referee in charge of the action, Mr. Ken Curtis. So, a regional heavyweight okay, title back, eliminator no, 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 no. between the reigning novice heavyweight champion Dave Chopping and his opponent Matt Cross. Cross from Clapham, undefeated in two so far, six feet three in action here against uh, his opponent from Crawley in West Sussex from the Warriors Boxing Gym. And here we go for the first of a scheduled four rounds of boxing. Spencer. Yep, been looking forward to this one. You've heard that old saying, don't judge a book by its cover, and Dave Chopping can actually fight. He doesn't look like he's in great shape, but believe me, he can fight. He's got a good right hand on him, so as has Matt Cross. So this one could be good, Steve. Yes, it looks to be very deceptive, can't they, Spencer? I mean, you've only got to look at us. <laughs> don't put yourself down like that. Well, both guys looking for the big right hands. I always get the impression when I've seen Matt Cross that he, he looks awfully nervous. Yep, he's quite straight back to Matt Cross and there's not a lot of lateral movement, so he is there to be hit. And we've seen Chopping in the past, he does like to wing that right hand over the top. So that's the shot that could be successful for Chopping, Chopping tonight. He needs to get in range, let that right hand go over the top, because that's where 
Cross is, there we see him as he opens up. Matt Cross, the chin comes up, the back straight, but he is heavy-handed. Yes, and the reason, of course, that that's what they call uh, Dave Chopping, no stopping, because, you know, he does work hard. Good jabs there from Chopping again. Yes, and this is Matt Cross's problem, the fact that uh, he's going to be swarmed by Chopping for as long as this fight lasts. So the big question really is, uh, should Cross take a backward step? Absolutely, that's his style. He needs to create a little bit of space between the two. Chopping, we know, likes to come forward, he likes to get inside, likes to wing those shots over the top. With Cross, he throws straight shots through the middle, and that's where he's going to be successful. So here he needs to just step back as, as he's coming in, Chopping. He needs to take half a step back and drive those shots through the middle. Well, here's some of the action in that first round. There we see Chopping getting inside, landing that left hook. Just missed with a right there. And Cross coming back. Not too much landing cleanly in that first round, but... Good start there from Dave Chopping. Doing enough in that round, I believe, to win that one. Matt Cross just needs to get off with his shots first, pull himself back into this one. But it's a tactical error, really, by Matt Cross at this point. I know it's not it's not easy to stay away from someone like Chopping, but uh, you've got to make the effort. Yep, needs to establish that jab and let the right hand go straight as soon as he's found the range, drive the right hand through the middle. So this is where he needs to be working the jab, slip, pushing the jab out, keeping that space. But it might just be the machismo that affects so many boxers. You know, they go after their opponent when they don't need to, or they shouldn't do. Well, they were wingers, but uh, they got through from Cross. Yeah, he's starting to find the range here. He's put Chopping on the back foot. But then he walks himself into trouble. No need whatsoever to close the gap. Again, the jab, the right hand landed. Chopping come back. A good left hook of his own, but Chopping starting to look tired here in the second round, covering up. And not a lot coming back here from Chopping. Cross seems to be growing in confidence. And the winner of this particular contest will face uh, Steve Willis on the 25th of April here at Epsom Racecourse. And that will be, of course, for the, uh, the regional heavyweight title. Body well, shots going in right above us here in the commentary position. Cross driving those shots in and chopping. There's less coming back from him. A couple of good jabs, followed by the right hand. There's better stuff from chopping. But I think it's a bit too late now for chopping to uh, make up ground in this particular second round. You know, Matt Cross has, uh, has scored well. He could have done it easier, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yep, another dominant round there from Matt Cross, doing the better work, the, the work rate dropped. Old Dave Chopping in that second round. Let's take a look at some of the action. Cross pushing forward, pinning Chopping in the corner. Not a lot coming back from Chopping, and when it was, it was falling short. And some of the good work from Cross. Not a lot getting through, but the volume of punches was enough to win the round. Halfway point, round three. So Matt Cross then has uh, got a bit of momentum on his side here. 
but was chopping taking a bit of time out of the second round for a bit of a breather and come back strongly here well i think he knows he's a couple of rounds behind now steve so he's got to go well, for it don't forget I, I mean i made the first round choppings the second round crosses so you know in my book it's dead level yep now i've got cross winning um both of those rounds okay I'm a bit confused, Spencer, because I thought you said that Chopin won the opener, but there you go. Probably my memory. Anyway, there's there's a little between them here so far in round three. Actually, I think you're right. He did win the first round looking down there. He may have done enough to win the first round, but Chopin had all the momentum in the second. And he's got it again here in the third. And he's in a bit of trouble there. That's a hold Yeah, this is a, a decent round so far now for Matt Cross. As I say, I think he could be making life easier for himself by uh, establishing a bit of space, but, uh, you know, he's doing OK. And uh, Dave Chopin, who looks like he won the opener but lost the second. Dave Chopin is under pressure now. Yeah, he certainly is. He might have blown himself out a little bit in that first round, Steve, you're right. But um, Cross is now pushing forward, coming on, and he looks the fitter and stronger of the two here in this third round. Yes, I think fitter's a very good way of putting it. Oh, a lovely right Whoa, there for Cross. Massive right hand. All over. Terrific shot there from Matt Cross. And uh, sadly for Dave Chopin, he's been laid out flat in round three. Yep, that was a bad knockout. Landed flush on the chin of Dave Chopin there. And this hope he's OK. They've put him into the recovery position. Fair play to Matt Cross. He's just sitting down, waiting for his opponent to make sure he's OK. So that's, that's good to see that from Matt Cross. We see it far too often that they're celebrating way before they've seen that their opponent's OK. But that was... A bad knockout, Stephen. Let's just hope that he's OK there, Dave Chopin. He did hit that floor hard. He had a good opening round, didn't he? And, um, yep, he did win that opening round. He just nicked that one. Matt Cross dominated in the second round, but that knockout in the third, flush right hand on the side. And um, let's just hope Dave Chopin's OK. This is the action. Uh, sorry, this is the knockout. Landed flush on the chin and he was gone. As soon as that shot landed... Let From just... another angle, Steve, sorry, just quickly, we see the shot and it went through and on the chin and you could see he was out before he hit the floor. Now, let's just hope he's OK. He seems to be up and talking. What I like about what Matt Cross has done, he sat there respectfully, not made a fuss, and he's just hoping that Dave Chopin's OK. And it looks like Dave's going to be fine now, but, you know... I mean, it... That, that's very, very respectful. Yeah, it is. That's brilliant to see. Um, he's he's done really well there, Matt Cross. He's, he, he's reserved his celebrations. He's waiting to see that his opponent's OK. Thankfully, now Chopin's up. He's speaking to the doctor. That shot landed right on the point of the chin, didn't it? And um, he was out before he hit the floor. I'm just glad to see that he's up and communicating now. I've got to say also that... Uh... Matt Cross, his uh, battle with Steve Willis, an entirely different fight because Willis is a massive guy. Is he six foot nine, six foot ten? Yeah, he is. He L is. It's going to be arms as long as your legs. It's going to be a great fight because Willis will come with a size and reach advantage. But Matt Cross, as we've seen in the past and we saw there again, demonstrated that he can take an opponent out with a single shot. That was a beautiful right hand, textbook right hand there from Matt Cross, and that sets up. A brilliant fight. Here we go then for the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, 
at a time of one minute, 54 seconds of the third round. Your winner and becoming the number one contender for the Queensbury Boxing League Regional Heavyweight Champion in the blue corner, Matt Cross. Well, what can you say? Cracking finish. You, they don't get much better than that. And your appreciation as well. Well, for his opponent, give it up. Delighted for he's recovered. And uh, let's hope there's no uh, long-lasting effects there for Dave. What well on Matt Cross.